Hello, I'm about to walk you through how to download your Facebook Live video once you've shot it and once you've posted it. So what I recommend doing is doing this rather immediately after you've posted the video so that you can easily access it and find it. So I'm going from a page. Uh, so I'm on my page where I posted the video from. You can see down here, here's where the post appears. And I've got some options there. But instead, I'm actually going to hop up to Publishing Tools and click on the post from here. So when you have your published post, here's my video post, so I'm going to click on it. And a box is going to open with two different tabs. The first tab is for video. It's going to show you the analytics or performance of the video post, which is great. You definitely want to watch this and see if you're grabbing people and, and duration and things like that. But for this purpose, we're going to click on the post tab. Now, you don't have the option here yet. You have to go through a couple more steps. So we're going to click on the actual video itself, and it's going to pop open and start autoplaying. Uh, I'm going to pause right there. And now you can see you have some options down at the bottom, and you want to click on options. This is where you're able to download. Now, if you have an HD version of your video, it'll appear here as an option as well. Uh, I have an SD or standard definition, so I'm going to hit download. So now we're on this next screen. I'm going to pause so we don't have to listen to myself. You have to right click at this point, save video as, and at that point now you can save the video. I would definitely name it. So I'm going to say this was done as of today, which I think is the 9th. Uh, it's my RST video opener. Again, I always recommend when you're saving a file to make sure you name it something you can find later. I'm going to save that video. It's downloading right now. So now I have this video, which I, it's not only live on Facebook and will be there until I decide I don't want it to be, but now I can repurpose this video and use it elsewhere, which for this purpose, I have used it for the opener of my weekly email newsletter. You can also edit it, obviously, once you get it off of Facebook. Facebook at this time does not offer any editing tools. That is how you get in and are able to download your video.